Uh, Japan has a phenomenal wealth of hidden technologies, whether it is physics, chemistry, or biology. If one can rightly explore it, it's going to be giving a phenomenal array of solutions for the entire humanity. Our company, GN Corporation, we are working in the domain of healthcare, regenerative medicine, biomaterials, and also food supplements. If you want me to attribute to the success of our company's developments in terms of patents, publications, and technologies, I will attribute it to the treasure of technologies available in Japan, which we have not even exploited or utilized less than 1%. For example, our Biotherapy Institute in Tokyo, they are experts in developing cell culture environments in the laboratory. And also, a company in Hokkaido is doing the metabolome analysis. A company in Saitama, you send the specimens, they thoroughly evaluate and give you the data. The cell-based therapies, especially the immune cell therapy for cancer, has been practiced in Japan for more than 20 years. The regenerative medicine law gave a new credential to it, so that when you follow that, it is easy for us to make our foreign collaborators understand the nuances of it, and then they take it forward to apply it in their own countries. So as a whole, if you look at Japan, it has everything. Basic science technologies are available, and you have facilities, infrastructure, or institutes to validate them and you can rely on people, you can rely on their systems and the data. Once you make a handshake with one Japanese institute or an academic industry, you will be able to expand into other areas where you will be finding novel solutions for other developments as well. And if you get a technology which is working in Japan, it should work everywhere, as long as you follow the same materials, methodology, and ingredients.